Sankey flow diagrams are a great way to show the flow of resources inside the system. They've been around for a long time. The first known one shows the movement of Napoleon's troops during the invasion of Russia in 1812. It was created in 1869. Behavior flow diagrams are a kind of a Sankey chart and they use them in their analytics tool to show the navigation choices that visitors make when visiting a website. The Sankey SNP Google Sheets add-on can be used to visualize data in a Sankey diagram using the data from an active Google Sheet in real time. So once you've got the add-in loaded, then the sidebar will show a preview of the Sankey chart. If you navigate to a different sheet, it will detect the data in that new sheet and show the chart associated with that sheet. If we move to or create an empty sheet, then we get a, a nice story that tells us what Sankey data should look like and we can in fact even generate some sample data to play around with if we want to. But let's add a blank sheet and we'll make up some data as we go along. Now normally these are source, target and volume but they can in fact be, be anything. Sankey SNP will try to detect from the context what the purpose of each of the columns are. Let's just add some data. Now you can see that the chart is being updated as we go. So let's take a look at some of the settings. Now we'll go back to this, this main chart. And if we go to settings, we can change a whole bunch of things about the chart. Let's go for links and change the color mode to gradient. And now when we look at the chart, it's all nicely colored. We can set that back to how it was before we changed it. And there it is, the normal colors. Now we can also make these settings permanent. Let's put that back to gradient and change something else, maybe the the label's italic. That's what the chart looks like now. Now if I like that chart, I may want to always use that setting in this document. So I can go to save and save for future use in this document, which means every time I open this document from now on, it'll use the settings in the chart there. So to prove that, if we close this, start the add-on again and now we see this colored the way that we just saved it we can get rid of that if we want to by saying I don't want to do that anymore and maybe we'll close the add-on open it up again and this time we're back to the normal let's change something again this is always an easy one to see let's make it that that's what the chart looks like now, if I decide I don't like that, I can reset to standard, say. And there it is. So there are plenty of settings that you can change. But now let's take a look at embedding the full size chart in your document, which is something you probably want to do. So if we insert that, then it, wherever the cursor was positioned at the place will receive an image, a static image of the, of the chart. The image size is controlled by the scale. So you can see what I've made. Let's m instead make maybe a long thin one, something about 100, and get rid of that image now. And we'll insert a new one. And this time we've got a, a nice long thin one. Set that back to normal. Now another thing you can do is that you may want to incorporate this image in a website. Well, if we go to here, this is the HTML code needed to make that happen. So if we copy that and start putting together a website, say my chart, and then copy in the code that we've just retrieved from the other place, then this is what my website would look like. So very handy for putting these kind of things into a website without needing to host images all over the place. 
And finally, another thing we might want to do is to use data that isn't the normal shape. So in this example, we've got an extra column, V2. Let's just add another one just for fun. And let's make that 20, 18, 2. Now for the moment, the chart is still reflecting this as the volume column. So if we go to data, you can see from to an amount, from to an amount. Let's just say that I'd rather use V3. I can just change that. Look at the chart. And now you see we've got a, a different chart than before. Change it back to the usual. And there's our chart. So another thing we can do is, let's say for the sake of argument that we only want to use the first piece of this data. And instead of using the whole sheet, we can use a selected range. And of course, select a range. And now the chart just uses these first few rows. So that's a brief overview of the Sankey SNP Google Sheets add-on. You can read a whole lot more about it at my website with the addresses on the screen. And of course, you can take a look at my, my book for more about Google Apps Script, my video training course if you want to become a, an Apps Script ninja. And the source code for Sankey Script is open source, so you can have a look at how that's built. And of course, you can download it from the Google Sheets add-on store.